Hey folks, so today we're going to work on Act 2 of the Story Structure Worksheet. So we're going to use the film Avatar from 2009 and fill out the relative scenes. So Act 2 is the largest chunk of your film or episode and let's look at the scenes and put them in the right place. As you can see, I've already done this, so let's break it down to give you an understanding of what's going on. So number three, identity versus essence. Fake self versus real self. With a new goal or plan, the protagonist struggles to let go of their old life and overcome mounting obstacles, finding it emotionally terrifying to embrace their true self despite knowing it's necessary, you know, on this journey, often making excuses to avoid this transformation. So in Jake's case, the lead Jake, you know, he has his goal and his goal is to, you know, follow the company's rule and he's given this new life, his new body, and that's his external goal. But meeting Natiri and everything like that, he kind of, as you can see in this in this chunk of the beginning of the second act, he kinda goes more towards Natiri. She saves him in all his other aspects. He falls in love, you know, but he still has that dual loyalty. You know, he goes back to the company and the colonel and, you know, tells them more information, but at the same time goes back to Natiri, you know, learning, growing, you know, embodying the traditions and everything like that to go deeper and deeper into the clan. So usually, like I said, in other non-turning point chunks, there it's a bunch of scenes. So Jake is on this journey, but as I said before, he falls in love with Natiri he gets to know the people more and there's the point of no return which is the third uh, third turning point or the midpoint of the whole film so we're at the turning point number three or the midpoint or the point of no return the protagonist makes a full commitment to their goal driven by an intimate moment in you know rom-coms or romance usually this is when they have sex or open up emotionally about their past or their ghost so if you want to put a ghost in this part of the film this is where you usually see a ghost in an episode or a movie where they say oh this is what happened to me in the past this is why i am what i am this is what i want etc etc so it also comes down to this point where they try the lead usually tries to get what they want and also what they need so in this case jake realizes what he needs and you know it's the navi and other aspects you can go into deeper in terms of what a character needs or their truth so this genuine uh genuinely with others you know this persona to connect so in this case it's one scene or if you want it's a group of scenes but it can't be that much he realizes he can no longer remain neutral and must choose a side making the point of no return so he's committed to the navi yes he doesn't want both sides to kill each other but he's he just wants to live that life with the navi but the nature of the job to begin with setting up all the way in the first act you can see what's gonna happen after this you know so right after that is number four complications and higher stakes as the character pursues their new goal returning becomes impossible hence the point of no return um, stakes arise obstacles intensify they must test their resolve while growing emotionally facing both sweet fulfillment and tough challenges so all the things that happened to Jake and the Navi and Natiri, you know, he comes back after his revelation. He wants to have all things. He wants to have, but it's obviously not going to happen. And that's hopefully growth. Jake attempts to warn the Navi about the imp uh, impending attack that he basically gave the information for about the home tree. Uh, the Navi discover Jake's original mission. So then that bites him in the ass because that's what he set up, dual, you know, loyalty. Uh, Natiri and everyone basically rejects him and says, you know, beat it. I believed in you or I loved you, all these things. Like, it's just heartbreaking. Uh, despite the warnings, you know, the place gets attacked, the home tree gets attacked, resulting in the death of many Navi. Jake and Dr. Grace, um, you know, are imprisoned and everything like that. And the sad thing about all that is she succumbs Dr. Grace. So when you look at major setbacks or all hope is lost. So the real all hope is lost could be either the tree but in this case i the way i look at it is the point of no return number four is a major setback is the devastating event that crushes the hero's hope causing emotional devastation and making them feel responsible yet pushing them to confront their new self 
at a higher emotional and psychological level so essentially usually in films this is like they go up 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 this new life everything's awesome i'm in love da 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 but something from the beginning that you set up fucks everything up and you you can it's this underlying thing that you knew if you if the story's well done you you don't see it coming hopefully but some films it's easy to see it's going to happen and in this case dr grace who you know was not very nice to him in the beginning but he grew to you know become very close with she dies and they try to save her and she can't so on top of the home tree you know nobody wants him all these things it's it, it sucks so from here usually a character goes tries to go back to the new life but in this case he can't you know he went against the people that gave him the avatar body and stuff like that and he wants to do something right so usually after this is like when a character rallies or says i gotta try my new i gotta go back to my old life but they can't they've tasted something new and delicious or whatever you want to call it and yeah so the point of no return he can't return tries but he can't and now usually this is where the act three comes in so act three is after this so we'll go to the next act in the next video all right let me know if you like this or you want me to do more of these videos or break down anything else. Until um, next time, peace.